pressure style tuning. In this episode we continue with the sleeker wheel refurb. Next stage is paint. First of all we've got to get them prepped with a 400 and then an 800 to get a nice smooth finish for the top coat. Okay so we start with the 400 we gently sand the surface down trying to get to a nice level finish any little imperfections we just sand out trying to get it as smooth and as neat as possible any small runs can we just be blocked out we do this all over the wheels inside and out and then we move on when it's all flat to the 800 wet and dry Okay, once you're happy with the actual finish and you've got it all nice and flat, then we're going to go onto the 800 wet, and this will then improve the finish, remove any 400 scratch marks, give you a nice smooth finish with a silver top coat. A little bit of water, some paper. Gently flat the entire wheel. Two little bits and pieces. Make it as smooth and as flat as you can. Don't worry too much if you go through. You can always blow a little bit more aerosol primer on if you have to. Because it's nice and smooth. So often wipe your work over, just check your progress. Yep, looking good. with your finish a good degrease and we're ready for paint this is the important part is all the prep if your prep's not right paint's not going to look right. So spend the time getting this as best you can and it will make your wheels or any paint job look the best it can. 
das Spiel selber. Excellent. Here we go. Very good silver. I'm going to paint the insides first, just trying to paint them all together. Then I can mask off the insides once they're fully dry, do the faces and get a nice smooth finish on the faces so there's no overspray, goes on the inside and spoils the finish. I will be using for the silver a U Pol wheel silver, it's in an aerosol so that everybody has equipment like spray guns and compressors, etc. So, just going to prove that you can get just as nice a finish. If you prep's right, you can get just a nicer finish with an aerosol than you can with a, a normal paint gun. The lacquer will be done with a proper paint gun because I want a nice smooth show finish. light coat, let that flash off, and another coat. Now that's flashed off, I'm actually just going around denibbing, taking any little areas out that I'm not happy with. Just with a little bit of uh, 800. Notice the inside, you don't see it on the It's got a nice. Never go too heavy with silvers. Try and go nice and light. Nice distance. Build your colour up slowly. Stinks. Okay, that's all the silver on. Kind of nice and even. Now onto the clear coat. Okay, that's the clear coat mixed, two to one. So it's two part clear, one part hardener. 10% thinners. What I'm going to do now is add a little bit of metal flake, not too much. Okay, 
just get everywhere. Nice and thin. It's quite a warm day out, so it should go on quite nice. Okay, let's get on. The inside's all cleared. As you can see, a little bit of flake in there. Came out pretty nice. When they're dry, I'll mask off the insides and paint the fronts so no other spray goes into the inside, ruining the finish. Leave those for a couple of days. And I'll get on with the rest. stood for approximately a week. We got nice and hard so we had to mask them off, give the faces a quick prep with an 800 and then paint the face.
Okay, so that's done. So now we'll just give it a quick degrease. And turn it over, mask it up. Always try and keep your mask in as tight and as neat as possible so you don't get any bleed through or any dry edges. Press it down nice and firm on all the edges. Now I'm going to go on with the silver. Again, I'm using the Upar wheel silver, same as the inside. On the faces, I'm going to be using a Mipa chrome effect over the top, and then the clear with a little bit of uh, metal flake. First light coat, let that dry, then I'll give it a quick denib with an 800, get out any little scratches, any marks, you can see a few here and there. Then we'll do another couple of coats, let that dry, and then onto the Mipa coat. the silver base coat all on and I'm pretty nice I think and draw the Mipa chrome effect let that dry and over the clear this is the Mipa chrome effect just do one coat like that. Just gives it an extra little silver reflection. Very thin paint. And there we have one light coat of the Mipa chrome effect. 
gives it that extra little bit of silver reflection. I'm going to let that dry thoroughly and then uh, probably three coats of clear with silver metal flake. That's the clear mixed. This time I put a standard flake in there and a tiny little bit of rainbow flake. Can't really see that. In there. Just comes in little sachets from eBay. Just gives it that extra dimension to it. I think we call it hologram flake. If you can see that on camera. Right, let's get the clear on. We'll start with one light coat first, and then probably two more coats. finished wheels, not demast, really happy with they've come out, you can see the metal flake in there. It's been a long process but I think it's been worth it in the end, just take a little bit of care in the actual prep work makes the finished job a hell of a lot nicer. I'll get a set of tyres and get them on the car, just pop the uh, centre cap in, see if they fit still. Very nice. I'm probably going to give the wheels a seal first with some auto finesse sealer and then probably give it a triple wax with their triple three. Really good stuff. Just give it a bit of protection. If you've liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Hope to see you again soon. Cheers!